Hey friends and welcome to my channel. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I'd like to first say thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you for being interested in the content that I'm creating and just following me as I go along this journey of budgeting and newly to planning. So let's jump right in. No long uh, entry. So we will go over last week, this week really quickly. So this week, you all know, if you're new to my channel, um, I'm a hairstylist. I get paid daily by cash or uh, cash app or credit card, what have you. I'm also sometimes a makeup artist, sometimes a nail technician. I was doing pure romance. I'm no longer doing that, but I got paid from pure romance this past week with some things that I sold that, to get rid of out of my collection and I track my money daily and my tips daily in my everyday carry. This is my everyday carry which is a Michaels Red collection at the moment. Um, I may be switching over to Happy Planner but I do kind of like my A5. So we're going to get started with some totals. I'm, I haven't been using my little note sheet and that's what I think is kind of messing me up as far as budget wise. So this is the second week I did not use a cheat sheet and for those who are new my cheat sheet let's go back some because I haven't used it in quite some time my cheat sheet is basically every day I write down my totals and then oh, I took that out so let me get to it so I can um, show you all I hope I didn't lose it okay Here's a cheat sheet. So basically every day, Monday through Saturday, basically are days that I work. And I just write down my income and my tips. At the end of the week, I take it out, do my totals, and then I add them to my budget planner. So I'll add that bow back later. So here we are in this week. <clears throat> well, last week. And now what I have to do is go day by day. So for the total... So on basically Monday was $90. Uh, I did not work Tuesday. Wednesday was um, $80 because I made $20 from Pure Romance and then $60 from Hair. So I'm just put that. Thursday um, I made $230. Friday I made... I didn't write down my total for Friday. I did not so now I have to do that see this is what happens so I'm glad that I make mistakes so that you all can see that I'm not perfect I'm human and I'm just trying to get my budget together so I didn't get a total for Saturday I mean Friday but we're basically at 715 I'll go back and do that total so that I can tell you Saturday Friday's total and then Saturday did not do another total let's do the total you know what, let me just start over. Let me do Friday's total right quick. Just for my own sanity. And that I can write it in, I can see. So Friday, the total was 315. And I really, I mean, if someone out there who's a hairstylist employee and that is watching, because I know there are hairstylists who are planners, um, also, waitresses, things like that, um, who get paid cash daily and who are trying to basically, you know, plan their life out and what have you, um, they understand the struggle that is so, I can't keep saying so hard, but it's not easy. I thought it was 400 for Saturday. I wasn't positive. It's not easy making cash every day. So I'm going to work backwards. So Saturday was $400. See, this is why I need my cheat sheet. So Saturday was $400. So then Friday was $315. Oh, darn it. Now I got to add a dollar. Uh, Thursday was $230. Oh, pretty good. $80 on Wednesday. And $90 on Monday. Wow. So the total for the week was... Week three, oh, okay, one thousand. Hold on here. I didn't include um, 
Country Romance. So Pure Romance, I didn't estimate anything. I made $20 off of that. Um, so all I need to do is take $20 from this $1,125. And five. Quick math. <laughs> so I was actually I guesstimated a thousand on the third week, and I was I'm hitting it home. I'm getting real real close. So I gotta go back. I don't even know if I did actual or what. Oh, I did make thirty three dollars and sixty cent on Posh last week. Actually, it really showed up this week, but I'm gonna leave it on um, week four because it started to generate one week two <clears throat> so we were up basically a hundred and five dollars and then here we were up 20 because I hadn't expected anything from pure romance so and last week I think we were on the money with uh, I have to look at the video that's a shame but I'm gonna do a quick ad of last week since we you know we're going to go ahead and do last week as well so we made four fifty five on Saturday last week. Friday, I don't think I, I didn't make any money. Friday, Thursday was seventy dollars. One twenty on Wednesday. Had a date date with hubby uh, Tuesday, so I made six forty five. Yep, that was correct. Six forty five. So I didn't even make the eight hundred. So that might have been my little spiel. So let's um. Subtract the 800 from 645. So we were minus 155. And I think I had cancellations or something last week. So I just wasn't really in a great headspace. So anyway, <clears throat> last week, the only thing I paid, and I think that was it, the reason I was a little upset was because the only thing I paid last week was, let's see, we were in week two. Did I pay card note? Wait a minute. I'm so confused. Wait a minute. Here it is. I am so sorry, y'all. So sorry. Last week was the first week. My goodness. Now we got to do everything all over. So, you know what? We really made more. I kept trying to figure out why this was like this. See? Mistakes happen. I don't know how to fix this. So I found some more tape. So Posh was on this week. That's why I added it. So now we got to... I have another one of those other tapes, but I'm not going to get frustrated. I'm not going to get frustrated. So last week, this is what happened. I did write it down because I did the video. Duh. <laughs> so I made $645. So I was up $45. So you think I'd have been, you know, a little excited about that. I'm thinking it was this week. So I did make Posh. That's what it was this week. Posh and then Pure Romance. So I had three incomes this week. And like I said, I'm no longer doing Pure Romance. But um, I'm selling off some of the things that I have. So... And I actually made $1,105. So I was up. Now we got to rip out the calculator again because we had that all wrong. So $1,105 subtract $800 was $305. So I was up $305. That's great. Um, actual, well, I'll put estimated. That wasn't supposed to go there. That was supposed to be 3360 20. Way out to the rescue again. Zero. I I hate white out when it comes to stuff like this. It is gonna drive me crazy. So I was up $33.60 as far as Poshmark and Pure Romance, I was up $20. So my totals were $1,105. I 
105 plus 3360 plus 20 equals 1,000. I'm right in the wrong place. I'm just off today. Okay. See that spirit. Where was I? So I wasn't expecting to make. So we made the total was 1,000. One hundred and fifty-eight dollars and sixty cents. So let's see where that money went this week. I know that I paid a car note. Let's go back. Let's close this up. Move it out the way. Yeah. So last week I paid schedule list. Oh, and then I went in and put what came out. My Etsy payment came out on Monday. Something else I put the sticker here for. Something else came out, but my Etsy payment came out. Uh, matter of fact, what did I pay? I need another bill to sticker. I'm going to use a flag. Because I paid a cell phone bill. I ended up paying a cell phone bill on Saturday, but I'm going to put it here on Friday. I paid that yesterday. I'm going to put the date, my Victoria's Secrets bill, and I paid $27. You all, the balance is so low, but I just keep fooling with this thing. I don't know why. So I did pay my car note. I did not pay a sale bill this week. Should have. I didn't buy any products this week, or did I? I no, I did. I think I bought one thing. I think I did. No, yes I did. I think it was like ten dollars. Um, got paid from Posh, so here I put in the payday sticker. Whenever time I get paid, that's the only time I use my payday stickers when I am uh, paid through something else like Posh or anything else. Uh, Twelve ninety nine to Amazon, so that came out on Sunday, which tripped me out. And then something came out on Saturday that I wasn't expecting. The Etsy payment, and it was something else. I can't remember what it was. But I did get a car note, and my half of my car note is one eighty one sixty, And then I have another one coming out this week. Coming. So that's what I paid this week. Let's flip over what I got paid and what I paid. Uh, let's see. I did pay a booth rent. Sorry about that. I paid a booth rent. As well, I paid half of a car note. Um, car insurance is due on the 28th. Weebly, I didn't pay. Jim, I didn't pay products. So, so far, I only spent $10 of my $200 balance for products. Victoria's Secret, I have budgeted $50. I've spent $27. And I may have to come back in and... Because I want to go ahead and pay that off because I think I do have like a 50... I had a $55 balance, so two $27 payments to pay it off. But I'm going to go ahead and hit that off for the rest of the month. So I'll come back in. I'm just going to put down the date here. What was today's date? That was yesterday, the 13th. And so I'm going to split that up. So the next time I make a payment, I'll put it here. Uh, gas. Did I get gas this week? I did get gas. And I spent... I don't know which day I got gas. I think I got gas on Wednesday. I'll use another flag sticker. And I spent really too much. $36. Gas has went up. And I don't like to spend $36 on gas. I'm cheap. So... And I have like a little mini truck. I don't have like a big truck. So, but I, there was a time when I had a big truck and I was spending $60, $70. So, whenever I can spend less, I'm going to put another mark through here. And I spent $36. Okay. Um, Aflac. I paid Aflac this week. I forgot about that. So, I paid them. I paid that yesterday. And I think, yeah, I paid Aflac yesterday. There we go. Oh, and the total. I got to write in my total was $1,158.60. Oh, you know what, you guys? 
If you've been following me, you know that my goal is to make $1,200 a week. We were very, very close. I don't know why I don't have that over here in the goal section. We'll put it over here. But that's supposed to be from hair. And there's a video finishing up. Okay, what else? Gym membership didn't come out. Victoria's Secrets, I paid that F flag. Miscellaneous eating out. This is my issue, okay? This is my issue. And um, one day I'm just going to do a video basically on me. Um, how I'm going to rear in my budget and be able to pay myself on Saturday. And I kind of got an idea. So this week I tried writing some of it down. But you guys, I know I spent... A good hundred and twenty dollars eating out I'm gonna put a slash to that because the month isn't over uh, cell phone bill I didn't pay that yet I need to hit it up with something and say I could have taken care of it. it's just crazy uh, savings oh my god let's not talk about it I haven't saved anything it doesn't make sense I'm just trying to figure out how can I pay myself and get through and everything extra I pay bills and pay stuff off so this was this week's budget uh, very not necessarily challenging money wise it was great and especially with my other little sources of income which as you can see my other sources of income I'm not getting rich off of I'm not so that's why I have to continue to stand on my feet and do hair <laughs> and um, just show you guys how I'm managing that which I'm not managing it well I can honestly say I'm not managing it well so also I want to talk about sinking funds too because I have a sinking funds so I've added that to my budget now and um, I'm going to start implementing it. And I remember, I don't know if I told you guys, if you remember, excuse me, that um, I was doing the um, cash envelopes, but I stopped because I was going into the cash envelopes. Well, I'm thinking I'm going to bring cash envelopes back because the, when I did go into my cash envelopes to basically take the money out and just spend it on whatever, I had pretty decent amount of money in there to just blow. And I use it all pretty much on craft supplies and planner stuff. But that's not what it was for, but I did have a decent amount of money in there. And if I'd have kept that up, you know. So I'm going back to sinking funds and cash envelopes because I think for someone like myself who is self-employed, that that will definitely, definitely help me. Because like now, um, if you saw my other video, I've been trying to make a dentist appointment with a dentist with my low dental insurance and they're not answering and I've been the, the dentist that I like she uh, charges like two hundred dollars for a cleaning she's well worth the two hundred dollars trust me and I want to go back to her she doesn't take my insurance so I'm going to uh, just basically save up for that and I want to be able to do that so that I can go to her on a regular basis and stop fooling around with these people who won't answer the phone so Needless to say, that is April's budget. So we're, next week we have guesstimated a thousand, and I think we're going to hit the twelve hundred mark because next week is well, this coming week is Easter, which is week three, and that's when one of those times I'm busy. And then when we get into week four, it kind of slows down. And I did not account for there being another week five in April. So back to that. So thank you all so much for watching and budgeting with me. Um, we're we're going to get this budget together. We're going to get it in control. I promise you I'm going to get a handle on these finances. I have to. I really have to. Um, I was watching Elaine Michelle's video. I'm not going to keep you guys. But I was watching Elaine Michelle's video the other day. And like you get basically of how I think. Um, I can't remember the name of the video. But if you follow Elaine Michelle. You, you know the video that I'm speaking of. But basically you get tired of being sick and tired. You get tired of not having what you need. And going out here and spending frivolously. On things that you kind of don't need. So like I've been buying you know planner stuff. Like I really want to just go buy a bunch of planners. I don't know why. But I have got to speak some sense to myself because when you get older and especially in my predicament of being self-employed I have IRAs but I just don't pay into them that's another thing that I'll be adding into here's my IRA I have stock that I don't basically buy sell trade do nothing with it. it's just sitting there I've invested the money and just sitting there uh, collecting dust pretty much because I'm sure it's not gaining any money but you have to have a backup plan you know especially self-employed um, if, if YouTube is your full-time job, you need a backup plan. You need to have some money sitting somewhere. Um, just period. So I'm getting on the ball and I'm going to, I'm going to basically just really nail myself to the wall on this because I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired. It's, it's no need and no sense in me making 
I'm thinking it's not a lot of money, but it's no need to me making this type of money and not having anything to show for it, but some pretty paper and what have you. And I sure it ain't in clothes, trust me. I haven't bought clothes because I can't fit anything, but I need to. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to hold you guys, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!